bought myself a new welder. Um, Lincoln Electric. It's a uh, it's a MIG welder. Uh, it's a Pro MIG 140. I got it at Lowe's. Uh, I just bought it. I just just picked it up. Um, pretty excited about it. Um, the one next to it I bought about four years ago, and um, that one was from Harbor Freight. Um, just a cheap cheap welder, basically. Um, <clears throat> I paid about a hundred bucks for that, and <clears throat> I had never welded before in my life. I really had no idea how to do it or, or anything about it, and um, so I kind of learned on that. You know, for a hundred dollars, you know, it's a it's a good way, to, a good place to start if you've never done it before. Um, you know, basically the the difference between them is this one is a just a flux core solid, you know wire, or the flux is in the wire. Um, this one is a, a MIG welder. Um, this one you can run either the the, uh, the wire with the flux in it, or you can run solid wire, and then you can hook up a tank and that has like argon or carbon dioxide gas, and when you weld it shields the weld, so you get a nice clean weld. Um, anytime you weld, if you have uh, oxygen or anything from the atmosphere, if it's not shielded, that just ruins your weld and you can't weld it, it it's horrible so um, so you have to run you have to run that um, that other wire um, when you get one of these welders if you buy one of these the first thing you want to do and I didn't know this um, you want to replace that wire that spool wire that's in there um, this thing comes from China and that's some cheap wire I don't think it has any of the flux in it um, so so you get one of these go to Lowe's and pick yourself up some of this. It's about fifteen dollars. It's a point zero three five inner shield Lincoln Electric uh, wire. And then when you buy this, also buy a tip. And you can buy them too. And they're only five bucks or so for a whole bunch of them. They're little um, copper things here. And uh, you also they have to be the same size as the wire. So you buy that and that. And then you put it on this, you know, replace the tip that's in it with the new tip, and then put put the new wire in that you bought, the uh, the Lincoln Electric wire. Get rid of that stuff that's in here because it's garbage. And um, we do that, and uh, and it's gonna do okay. It's a you know it's it's um you know it it's gonna work for you, you know, and uh, you know basically this one. Um, this one, you have this knob here, which adjusts the wire speed. So, um, if you need more, you know, more wire, or more material, or you're welding thicker steel, you know, you want to increase that, and it'll give you give yourself more, uh, more wire. And then uh, this switch here, you just have minimum and maximum, and that's basically you know the thicker metal you want to use maximum because you give more current and the thinner steel you use minimum and it gives you it gives you less current you know and then you know between that and adjusting the wire speed um you know we'll get get your get your weld there but um but anyway this this one is like i said it's different this one's uh this one does mig <clears throat> or it does the inner shielded wire um this one's got the wire speed on it too um, and it's also got all these settings for different temperatures or different currents um, thicker steel you want to increase the current you know adjust your wire speed and thinner steel decrease it and it's kind of cool because it came with the DVD kind of had a weld and it has a chart up here that you kind of use to calculate um, how to set it up for different thicknesses of steel and stuff like that and in fact there's even a gauge a gauge on here somewhere for the different metal sizes down here I think but anyway um, yeah it's it's pretty pretty nice I haven't set it up with my wire yet I gotta run the wire in it and put the uh, put the you know the, the gun on it but um but it's really really nice look at the quality of this I mean that's one thing I was impressed with is like I mean just the difference um, between this one and the Harbor Freight one. I mean, just, just a huge difference in quality. You know, I've been using this one for a long time, so it's kind of used to how this one was. And I mean, look at the, 
look at the um, the gun on this one. Like how cheap it is, you know. Even the weight of it is like really it doesn't weigh it only weighs half as much as this one. And uh, you know, even like this thing, I mean, like like you know, nice quality that that is compared to compared to the Harbor Freight deal. But but you know whatever. I mean, like I said, this one it's a hundred dollars versus five hundred dollars. You know, so it's a good good place to start, but. But don't think you can do what this one can do. I mean, you're paying more for a reason. You know, this this is a a much better welder. So you get what you pay for. But anyway, um, but yeah, that's that's my new welder. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it, and uh, I can't wait to get it set up. Start using it. All right, guys. Thanks. Tell me what you think.